Welcome back everyone. Starting this video, let's take a look at some of the data display components available in Material UI. For our first component, we're going to learn the usage of the avatar component. Let's begin by creating a new file in the components folder, muiavatar.tsx. Within the file, I'm going to create a new component. I'm also going to import the stack component and use it instead of the div tag. We're going to be adding a few different avatars. So let's set spacing is equal to four. Now to add an avatar in the UI, we need to import the avatar component from material UI. Within the stack component, I'm going to add another stack component to line up a few avatars in the horizontal direction. So stack direction is equal to row and spacing is equal to one. Now within this stack component, we invoke the avatar component. Between the opening and closing tags, I'm going to add initials as text, BW for Bruce Wayne and CK for Clark Kent. If we now save the file, include it in app component, add the padding again in app.css and take a look at the browser, you should be able to see the two avatar components. They are rounded by default and have a gray colored background. The first customization would be to change the color. Back in muiavatar.tsx, on the first avatar, specify sx background color primary.light. On the second avatar, let's set background color to success.light. If we save the file and take a look at the browser, you can see the avatars look much better. Now we can improve avatars by using an image source. Let me show you an example. Back in VS Code, I'm going to duplicate the inner stack and below the two initial avatars, I'm going to add two more. But this time, instead of adding text between the components, I will use the random user API to populate images. So a self-closing avatar component, source is going to be equal to an image from random user.me. The URL is HTTPS randomuser.me slash api slash portraits slash women slash 79.jpg. We specify an alt attribute is equal to chain doe. Similarly, I'm going to copy paste the second avatar. This again uses the image source from randomuser.me. If you have images that you can work with, by all means, use them instead of the random user API. If you now take a look at the browser, you can see the two avatars with images and they look much better. If you wish to, you can group avatars together. They're useful, for example, when you have to showcase speakers for an event. To group avatars, import the avatar group component and wrap the individual avatars with the same. If you now take a look at the browser, you can see the avatar group. There is no spacing and instead we have overlapping of the individual avatars. It's also possible to restrict the number of avatars to display using the max prop. If we set max is equal to three, you can see two plus one avatars are displayed. 
The last avatar contains the remaining number of avatars in this group. Since we have 4, plus 2 is shown. This is pretty handy when you don't have much space to work with. Let's take a look at a few more useful props. I'm going to duplicate the first stack again. Now if you wish to change the size of the avatar, you can make use of width and height on the SX prop. We can add width 48 and height 48. If you take a look at the browser, you can see their size is now larger. Finally, if you want a square shaped avatar, you can add variant is equal to square and the avatar is now squared. If this is a bit too sharp for your taste, you can go with variant is equal to rounded and you have rounded squares as avatar. Now avatars are pretty common in web applications so hopefully you've understood the usage along with the different props. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.